today I'm reviewing the PSA Skin Goals Perfecting Night Serum. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time sponsored as their videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, check my Patreon community, or click on the links below. Okay, so I'm excited to finally review this, something from this brand. I've got all of their products. I believe all of them, except for maybe one. But anyway, so... The PSA Skin is a brand under Allies of Skin. The PSA brand is a little bit more, well, a lot more affordable. And they are kind of create a necessary product for each part of your routine. They've got this. They've got a retinol bocuchol product. They've got a hydrating product. They've got a cleanser. They've got a nice exfoliating toner. So a really nice collection of products. So I'm finally getting a chance to review this one, which I really enjoy. Okay. A prebiotic night serum designed your skin is to be about goals with PSAs, multi-acids, and probiotics perfecting night serum designed to refine pores, reduce breakouts and blackheads while lightening dark spots and blemishes. The serum gets to work while you're sleeping so you wake up with skin you've been dreaming of. The hydrating serum is formulated with an acid blend of glycolic, lactic, peruvic, BHA, and PHA as well as nourishing probiotics, niacinamide, and tamanu oil. It's a really unique product. And I will do a pH test because that talks a lot about how effective it is. So my first criteria is packaging and no issues with the packaging. I like it. For this dropper ball, it's easy to find. That's about all I have to say. It's an annoying. I, dropper balls are annoying to me, but this one's easy to find in the collection. In terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, this does not contain any of those, which is great. And it's also fragrance-free and has no real tangible noticeable scent so that makes it great for people with sensitivities to fragrance uh, this one is made in the u.s so no issues with that so let's see let me do a quick ph test because a lot of the beneficial ingredients in here are kind of ph dependent so let me take a little bit of this okay there we go. So the pH of this one looks to be maybe just a hair above 3, maybe like 3.5-ish. So that is a good pH for this. So ease of use. So they recommend applying to face and neck, avoiding the eye area after cleansing and hydrating serums. In my opinion, it's best if you use it in your evening routine. It's just easiest to use exfoliants then. Uh, and then be sure to follow up with a moisturizer or facial oil. And also, if you start using this, be sure to use sunscreen during the daytime because this will make your skin more prone to burning, damage, things like that because it, it's an exfoliant. If you haven't used many exfoliants before, start out very slowly with this. Use it maybe twice a week and very slowly work your way up to using it every other night or every night if you so prefer. But really take your time to build up because if you start rushing into exfoliants too fast you'll end up getting what you don't want which irritated dry flaky red skin so start off very slow because it is a nice exfoliant with that is strong um and personally i don't apply any exfoliants to my neck at all ever my neck is so sensitive so if your neck is sensitive don't do that okay let's talk about these beneficial ingredients and the ph why that matters so so they mentioned that this is a 12 percent combination of glycolic lactic peruvic beta hydroxy and polyhydroxy acids which is a good amount which makes it strong i think my first exfoliant i ever used was probably four percent so this one is quite strong so if you're new to exfoliants maybe this one might not be the one for you but if you start out slow it's not going to be as much of an issue. So, okay, so we've got glycolic acid, the most research alpha hydroxy acid, proven benefits to skin. It exfoliates dead skin cells, uh, can ha potentially help brighten, firm, and also produce collagen. And then this one is pH dependent. To get the most effects, it needs to be between a pH of three and four. We're good there. We've got glucolactone, which is a polyhydroxy acid, it's an antioxidant. In the long-term use of it, it can provide anti-aging benefits and hydration. We've got tamanu oil, a good antioxidant, emollient, wound healing, can also potentially help 
uh, with scars as well. Then we've got vitamin E, a good antioxidant hydrating ingredient. We've got lactic acid. It's a, lactic acid is another good alpha hydroxy acid that helps with removing dead skin cells and can also potentially help with hydration. We've got lactobacillus extract, which is a good skin-soothing probiotic ingredient. Then we've got that pyruvic acid, which is another alpha-hydroxy exfoliant. Bisobolol, a good soothing and hydrating ingredient. We've got rosehip oil in here, which is a good hydrating antioxidant. Rosehip oil is a very good oil. If you have acne-prone skin, it's one that really doesn't cause breakouts typically. We've got niacinamide in here, which helps with the Skin Barrier Prayer, Brightening, Anti-Acne, and Hydrating Skin. We've got Centella Asiatica, Good Skin Soothing and Hydrating Antioxidant. Then we've got Salicylic Acid, which is the Beta Hydroxy Acid Exfoliant. It's a good exfoliant, especially for acne-prone skin. We've got Sodium PCA, which is another skin-identical ingredient moisturizing factor. Licorice Root, good for skin brightening. Green Tea Extract, a good antioxidant. We've got three different turmeric e- extracts, which are all antioxidants. Sodium hyaluronate, which is a humectant. And then sodium hyaluronate cross polymer, which is a more absorbable version of sodium hyaluronate. And then we've got a synthetic peptide string as well. So a very long list of really good ingredients. So I love the fact that this is an exfoliant, but they put some good soothing and hydrating ingredients in there. That makes it a lot better for your skin and your skin will handle it better when it's got some other soothing ingredients in there as well. So they did a very good job with this. And the pH is right on. Okay, in terms of animal testing, so this is vegan as well as cruelty free. So no issues at all with that. Performance, it's a great serum. I love it. Um, I really like the fact that it's got multiple different exfoliants in there. Each exfoliant kind of has its own different benefits. And when you use all of them kind of in combination with each other in a good percentage, you can reap all the benefits from them when they use them all. So it's very nice. Most exfoliants just focus on glycolic acid or lactic acid or beta hydroxy acid. So it's nice to have a nice serum that combines all of them so you can get more benefits. Um, And then when I ever use this, I love it. I wake up to very smooth skin. And even more impressive is the fact that this does not contain any acneogenic ingredients. Very impressive. So if you have acne-prone skin, this is a great one for you. Okay, so then we get to price. So this is a full size, which is one ounce, 30 milliliters. It retails for about $38, making it a little bit pricey. It's not crazy price, but it's still kind of high up there. Although a little bit of this does go a long way, less than then one dropper full covers my entire face. So um, I think a bottle will last about two months or so. So it's not super expensive, but it is a little pricey. And then in terms of the it factor, really like this one. Fragrance-free, alcohol-free, perfect pH, nice blend of ingredients, cruelty-free, relatively affordable, and really good list of ingredients. So very impressed with this one certainly a one i will repurchase so with a 10 being a perfect score this one gets a 10 out of 10 we need like fireworks or something so anyway i'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check this one out yet or not and if you have what your thoughts are or if you're trying anything else out from the brand uh, what have you tried from them and what did you like about it so leave a comment i love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow thank you so much